What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, I'm Allison. Thank you for watching. Today I'm going to be using pretty much all kinds of new products that I've just recently purchased. I've been waiting to try them out on camera. You are definitely going to see quite a few first impressions, how some stuff is working out for me, how they aren't working out for me. So if you want to see how I created this look and you want to see all the new products that I'm trying out today, then make sure you keep on watching. First is going to be the Porefessional, their new primer, the pearl primer. It's supposed to minimize the look of pores. It's not as mattifying as the the professional primer. Then we have this eyeshadow palette from Dose of Colors, the Baked Browns palette. I also finally got the Maybelline X Shayla the City Mini palette, so we're going to be using at least one or two colors from this palette. This is probably the thing I'm most excited to try, which is the Tarte Gold Getters Face Brush Set. Contour Brush Set. Sorry about that. I do love Tarte. If you guys are watching me, you already know that. With that said, let's get into this primer. It locks up makeup, helps skin look bright, boosted, and awake. I just got the mini because I didn't want to spend $32 on the full size and not like it. Comes out looking a little pinky pearly. I need to make sure I get some on my really bad breakout areas. I don't tap. I literally just do that. So when you put it on, it feels like the other primer. They're professional, they're original. So it feels pretty much the same as that. Feels maybe a little tacky. I think the makeup's definitely going to stay on. I honestly don't see much of a difference on my face, to be quite honest with you guys. I got my eyelids primed and set. Used some shape tape and some Laura Mercier setting powder. I'm going to start off using the Dose of Colors Baked Browns eyeshadow palette. You know, warm brown tones. It does come with a brush. It's like a super mini brush. I could probably use this for under my eyes. Maybe even use this for inner corner. We'll see. I think we're going to mix these two colors for my transition. Taking a Morphe M433. There is quite a bit of fallout on there. But, whoa. These colors seem to be blending out pretty well. I am just going to continue to blend and add more color as I go till I feel like I got my transition and crease where I want it. Now I'm going to dip into the Maybelline X Shayla palette and we are dipping into that color which I don't think there's a name for it but yeah. Using a different blending brush it's from Firma. I don't know. And we're taking this straight into the crease. There's like no fallout on that shade either in the Maybelline palette. Going back in with the first brush that I use with the transition colors and just blending everything out. Going back to the Dose of Colors palette, and I think I forgot to tell you the colors of the first two shades that I used, which was deserted and outdoorsy. Now we're going to dip into the dark dark brown which is called rock bottom. We're going to get that on the outer corner a little bit and then I will probably go in with the black on the very very outer corner just for some. Just taking a Luxie Precision shader and I got this in my December Ipsy bag. We're going to just pack this on the outer corner. Once we get some color on there we are then blending it out. I'm using the brush that came in the Dose of Colors palette and I'm going to dip into the black shade in the Maybelline palette and just get that on the very, very outer corner. So there's no fallout on the brown shade in the Maybelline palette, but there's tons of fallout in the black shade. But I just want to darken this up just a little bit. We are all blended out, so now I am going to carve out my lid with my MAC Paint Pot and Soft Ochre. And we will be going in on the lid with the two gold shimmer shades from the Maybelline palette. I think I'm going in with this 
coppery bronzy shade closer to the outer corner and then the super gold one towards the inner corner. I think I'm going to wet the brush with some Fix Plus. We're just blending out the outer corner. We're getting some of that gold eyeshadow. We're just gonna wet it because I don't wanna deal with having to go back in. This gold shadow definitely shows up more than that other copper one. Thank God. Oh, I, you know, I don't, I don't know. Should I just throw some of that purple on there? I'm just gonna dip my finger into that purple shimmery shade and see what happens. I mean, I guess it has like a cool ombre effect. Top of the eyes are done. Now we are ready to try these brushes. I don't typically like use brushes to put on my foundation or blend out my concealer, things like that. The only time I use a brush to apply my foundation is when I'm getting ready for work in the morning because I just don't have enough time and I can literally get the foundation on, blend it out pretty well with the brush like in five minutes, whereas when I use a beauty blender, it takes me at least 10 minutes. This brush set does retail for $44. I did get it on sale. I think I bought it from Sephora. Pretty sure I bought it from Sephora. It is a contour brush set. I got my phone out. I'm on Tarte's website so I can kind of explain what these brushes are for. Now here the biggest one right here is the bronzer brush and you just apply your powdered bronzers with it. How about that? Next we have the contour brush. What I like about this is that it is a little bit of an angle. Chiseled slanted head allows you to carve out cheekbones and create a razor sharp jawline. Oh, okay. All right, all right, all right. We have the foundation brush and it just applies your foundation. Next we have the highlighter brush. You can also use it for under eye baking brush. I don't know about that, but maybe. And lastly, we have the concealer brush. Small tip means you can precisely correct imperfections and even sculpt your nose. Oh. Maybe I'll just use it for my nose contour today. I think that's what I'll do. Using my Fenty Beauty foundation in the shade 290. Just gonna put some on the back of my hand and go to town. Let's see what happens. First, I'm going right here over this thing. So I think that this brush really sucks up a lot of product, like a little too much product for me. Like I just did two pumps and I feel like it's already gone. I definitely feel like more of the foundation just stays on the br brush rather than stain on my face because normally like, it will cover up this blemish right here this stuff right here I feel like is just not covering anything my first impressions of this brush I don't think I like it and I don't think I'm gonna use it for foundation because now I definitely have to go back in with my beauty blender and get some more products on my breakout areas I mean, it feels nice on the face and everything like that. I, know, I feel like it's just sucking up all my products. There's three pumps, and usually, I mean, I can get everything on and blend it out and looking perfect. Three pumps. I think I'm a little disappointed in this brush, which sucks. I definitely have to go back in with one more pump, and I'm going to use my beauty blender to get these areas that are not getting covered up. Oh, and I forgot, I'm using a new concealer today. Picked up the Urban Decay All Nighter concealer in the shade medium light neutral. Now I used to love the all nighter foundation so I definitely wanted to try the concealer. It's a very small wand not as big as the shape tape one. I mean not that that's a big deal or anything. It's not too bad of a concealer. I can't really tell if it's covering up more than shape tape. I don't think it is. I think I'm gonna have to try it doing the all-nighter on one side and the shape tape on the other side so I can really tell like 
which one does what for me. I mean, it's not bad, but let's set it, please, real quick. If you guys can tell, I've been using the mirror from the Kylie Holiday Collection. You guys are probably thinking that I'm going to use the highlight in here, but I'm not feeling the $62 highlight palette. Uh, maybe I just don't know how to use it, but I do have a full video review, first impressions, swatches, my experience with Kylie Cosmetics customer service uh, video, and I will leave that link down below, so make sure you guys check it out in case you're wondering about this one. For my contour today, we are using the Tarte Clay Play Face Palette. I have been mixing these two shades right here for my contour. This one is Terracotta and this one is Desert, so I'm just going to mix those two. We are going in with the contour brush. Let's see how this works out. Just dipped into each of them once and let's see what happens. I think it's showing up a little patchy, you guys. <laughs> ah, it's just super pointing when things don't work out, especially when you spend money on them, you know? So, I mean, I, th I just think it looks a little patchy. Let's really try to blend this out. I just feel like I have to work really hard to like get it to blend out. Do I want to use this on my forehead? Let's do it, why not? See what kind of contour it gives my forehead. I feel like it's taking me a really long time to even get this contour on with this brush. I'm still gonna go back in on my forehead. I just feel like, is it patchy you guys? Let me know. Let me know down below in the comments. I'll still use bronzer all over because we're trying out the bronzer brush. <laughs> Moving on to the concealer brush I'm going to use for my nose contour and I just dip into the middle shade which is Desert. Oh, I think I'm going to really like this for my nose contour. So I definitely like that brush for my nose contour for sure. I'll probably start using that quite often for that. I'm going to do highlight and then we're going to finish off with some bronzer and some blush. I'm going to go in with Dose of Colors Desi X Katie Mita May for my highlight. At least to start off with my highlight. I'm not going to wet the brush just yet. We're going to see what this does. It goes on really pretty. That's going on not too bad. Not even wet wetting the brush. looking pretty good. Pretty freaking good. I do like the brush. I mean I put the highlight on, didn't use Fix Plus to wet the brush or anything. I got a good glow going on so I'll probably end up putting some more highlighter on anyway because that's just what I do. But moving on to bronzer and the last brush that we are going to test out. I need a little bit of more shimmer. I'm going to use my Too Faced Sweet Tea Bronzer. It looks like this. Two tones. We're just dipping the brush in. Doesn't look like much as, whoa, oh, let's bronze up this face. This brush is the most fluffy on the face out of all of them. I guess I'm not going to put blush on today, whatever. Overall, it's looking pretty good. I just need to finish my under eye, get some lashes on. I was doing my under eye and I'm just like, you know what, this eye look needs some glitter, okay? <laughs> I went ahead and put on my Tarte Eye Jewels glitter liner, um, just using the glitter side and I just put that on the very inner corner and I think that is exactly what this look needed. It just does something for me when I got that glitter on the lid, you know what I'm saying? What do you guys think? With that said, let's get a lip color on. This gloss right here, which is called cinnamon. I really want to try it out because I don't normally do glosses and if I do they're just like a clear gloss or like a shimmery light colored gloss. So this has a lot of pigment. This gloss has so much pigment. Crazy. Wow. 
Wow, this gloss is so freaking pigmented. Urban Decay All Nighter. You know, $10 for this little Maybelline eyeshadow palette. Not too bad. I did get a deal on it from ordering it from Ulta Beauty. I really like this. I might even try to do like an all matte eye look with this. I don't know. Even this Urban Decay All Nighter Concealer seems to be working out pretty well so far. Let's see how it wears throughout the day. But, oh, okay. I'm really feeling this gloss. I'm not like a color gloss type of girl and as far as this brush set now for sure gonna be using this for my nose contour we'll definitely use this probably here and there for my highlight probably won't use this too much for my foundation I just feel like it sucked up all of the product and I had to use a lot of foundation to get the coverage that I wanted and I still ended up using my beauty blender so probably won't use that that often I did kind of like this I just felt like it took a lot of work to get the blending that I needed with the contour this seemed to work out pretty well I want to try this without doing contour and then just using this for bronzer all over my face and see how that looks I love trying out new products I love spending money on new products and trying them out and I hope you guys enjoyed going through this process with me today please let me know down below what your favorite product was out of everything that I showed you and used today with all that said, thank you guys so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!